might think of me as the information chicken because I have lots of information about chickens and lots of information about mathematics. But one question I'm not going to answer about chickens is what came first, the chicken or the egg? I want you to think about that. It's a silly question to ask a chicken. Bark! Sometimes we want to gather information and do it in, an, in a very efficient way. Instead of polling everybody, we poll a sample of that population. One way is to do a random sample. A random sample says that each person in the population has an equal chance of being represented in a sample. And I'm going to give you an example. On average, how many hours do 7th graders sleep on a school night? So let's say we had 100 7th graders in a school. What we could do is assign their names to a number. So we put the students in alphabetical order and start with 00, zero and go all the way up to 99. That's 100 numbers. And get a spinner. We spin the spinner once, which gives us the first digit. Let's say the first digit was 2. And spin it again, and the second digit, for example, was 9. That would be our first random student. We would continue. Spin, maybe we get 0. Spin again, we get 7. Spin a third time, we got 5. Spin again, and get 1 etc. until we get 10 students. Then we ask them to keep track of how many hours they slept on Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday night, and then take an average of those hours. Add them up and take an average. Then we would compare each student's average and make maybe a box and whiskers graph. Now, if you're not satisfied, if you don't think that's a good enough way of doing it, a more valid way would be to do this again and do a couple of random samples. See how they compare. If they're close, then you feel like that is a very representative sampling of how often or how many hours of sleep a 7th grader gets on a school night.